Hey guys, it is, I mean, it's been a while. I feel like the last time I vlogged was in the beginning of my spring break, maybe, or maybe like halfway, and now it's the last day. It is Sunday, I go back to work tomorrow. Like, where did the time go? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm here drinking my coffee. It's 11.20, my cold coffee. Um, I made this this morning, I don't know, maybe at like 8 30. I'm drinking the rest of it. Um, but I was upstairs for the past few hours just uploading my YouTube video, getting the cutting guide finalized and finished, and getting that tutorial up and ready for you guys. So that is posted on my main channel now. And then I had to like feed the doggies. Um, and they're doing really well. Let me show you guys them. They were just cuddling on the couch and that's when I went to go get the camera. I wanted to show it, but looks like one of them moved. But there's Hazelroni. They're both so tired. And then there's Kuba over there. So they were literally just cuddling before and now they're not. <laughs> I'll have to put the photo up here. So before I start cutting some fabric and doing some of the other stuff, I thought I would come down here, make some food. Um, I have some tomatoes that I need to use up. Uh, where did the tomatoes go? Oh my gosh, don't tell me Babe threw them out. I may not have any pizza sauce to make. And I literally just started cutting an onion to make pizza sauce with those tomatoes before they like went bad, bad. All right, I just talked to Babe. He apparently threw them out. He said that they started to look rotten, so he threw them out. And I know they were out for a while. Um, and then I was gonna do something with them a few days ago, and then I didn't. And I thought I would get a chance to do it today, but there's no tomatoes. So um, I guess I started cutting this onion already. I don't know what else I'm gonna make with it, but you know what? We need to have like sauteed onions or something. Or just like, you know, not even sauteed onions, just cut up onions that we could add to our dishes as we're cooking because I feel like I hate cutting onions and um, having them on hand already cut is going to be great. All right, guys, so I can't make that pizza sauce I was going to make, but, and you know, that's that's fine. I mean, I wanted to make it, but we also have pizza sauce in the fridge leftover from the last time we made pizza so we got to use that up also um so it's fine actually maybe i'll use that up in this right now so i'm gonna make stuffed peppers i made meatloaf the other day and um i just want to eat it in a different way and i also have a bunch of peppers that babe doesn't normally eat peppers um so i wonder if he'll eat cooked peppers i don't know but i'm gonna go for it and <laughs> just try it out anyway but he doesn't normally like anything that I make with peppers he just doesn't like cooked peppers so I can't imagine that he's gonna like this but you know what we're gonna go for it anyway and maybe he will eat it um so I'm still cutting up the onions I'm just gonna dice them up put them into a little container that we can use um, throughout the week for whatever recipe um, that we want to follow or whatever babe is gonna make so that'll be fine so I noticed I had a red onion like half cut in the fridge so I'm just dicing that up put it into a small little container and so there we go we're gonna add that to something this week and then I have half of a white onion I'm gonna cut this up I mean I have more white onions but Let's start with the half because <laughs> I got to use it up.
All right, guys, I am going to start making my snack packs. It was so nice not having to make them for the week, but got to start that up again. So I got um, some tomatoes. I got my cottage cheese defrosting. Should have done that a couple of days ago, but I wasn't thinking. Um, so right now I've got my five containers laid out. And each one of these for my cottage cheese, I'm going to put just... Um, one of these things in here and then I put tomatoes around it my mangoes I cut up one at a time like per day and so we're only gonna cut up one because otherwise they're gonna get overripe um, inside my containers and then I have no idea what I'm doing for the other one normally sometimes I've done hard-boiled eggs lately I've been doing cheese and beef sticks but I don't have any blocks of cheese and I don't have any of my beef sticks either um, so not sure what I'm doing with that yet. <laughs> All right, guys, snack packs were put on hold. Um, I put them in the fridge though, but I did the tomatoes. My cottage cheese is still a block. It's still defrosting hours later. Um, and I cut up one mango for tomorrow. And um, I just fed my sourdough starter because I'm thinking of making banana bread. I have two super ripe bananas that I want to use up even though the recipe calls for three but we might just make it work with two um, and what else I'm washing my produce and water and baking soda so the strawberries are washed they're just drying before I put them back in the fridge and the blueberries are in here now and um, yeah my strawberry water was looking so gross after they were done being washed but yeah now my blueberries are in there and I think I'm gonna peel and cut a bunch of sweet potatoes, store them in a mason jar with water. Um, that way we can use that at some point in this week also. And then I think I'm also gonna take out some pizza dough from the freezer so that that could defrost. It takes like a couple of days, um, but that, I mean, if I leave it out on the counter, it takes, you know, just a few hours, but I leave it in the fridge, so it'll take a couple of days and then we can make it at some point um, this week and have sourdough pizza. Okay, I got myself some strawberries I have to eat, and I did run to TJ Maxx because I needed to buy myself some storage containers for fruit because I didn't have one and I've been wanting one. So I got two of these. Um, one I have for strawberries. That just looks like that. Um, this was the brand, in case you guys want to know. It's called Kitchen Spaces. This is what it looks like. Um, and it does have dividers, which I took them out. I bought two, one for strawberries, one for uh, blueberries. And so they have dividers, so you could put like different things in here, which is gonna be great when we need to do like um, peppers and carrots and celery and just kind of get things ready for like parties and things like that. Um, so the dividers are gonna come in handy. And if I ever have a smaller pack of something, this is also gonna come in handy, but I had two packs of blueberries from Costco and one ginormous pack of strawberries that didn't even all fit in here. Um, but yeah, that worked out great. And, um, they had slightly larger ones. Um, but the larger ones were like five and a half inches tall. And I don't think they would fit in my snack drawer here. And I want them to go into the snack container, um, in here, which, yeah, this is actually like a perfect fit here. I, I could get maybe like a quarter of an inch more, but this is actually perfect. Um, so any bigger and they wouldn't have fit. And I would have gotten more, but they didn't have, but that would be good because like we also have blackberries right now. Um, and I like that I could see it from the top, what's in here when I open up the snack drawer and I'm thinking of keeping them in here, but if I wanna put them in the fridge, I can. I just like the option of and knowing that it could fit either in the snack drawer or in the fridge. I also got myself some other things from TJ Maxx, so I bought myself a Mother's Day present that says, you're a possum mama. It came with this little wallet thing, which I don't care for, I just wanted the mug. Um, so I bought myself of that. I did also buy a pitcher, they only had this one, and I thought it was fantabulous. So it's, you know, it's not huge, but it's not small either, I have a lot of small ones. But I like that it has this infuser kind of piece in it because I love to do like fruit flavored water over the summer. Um, and I thought this would be a great way to be able to like serve it to guests and things. Got more of these treats because the doggies eat them. 
And then this, Kubla could really only have like soft treats because he's had a lot of teeth removed over the years. Um, he's always had a lot of problem with his teeth. So I found these and these are nice and soft. And these are the ones that my mom actually gave us to give to him. Um, but I don't want to keep using hers up. So I got some of that one, the chicken. And then I saw a larger bag of the steak ones, which my mom has the chicken ones, but I thought we could also try the steak. And Hazel likes them too. So that's great. So that's what I picked up at um, TJ Maxx. I feel like that was a pretty good haul because they don't always have a lot of good treats. And this time they did. So I'm very happy with that.